Nice. What's going on, guys? Captain Sharky, Outcast Charters, and it is flounder season, so what a perfect time to dive in and show you guys some easy tips and techniques on how to fillet this fish and completely debone it, prep this guy for stuffing. It's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, great eating fish. So let's dive in. I'll show you all some easy tips and tricks on how to get this guy ready to roll. So first, you're gonna start there right at the top of the head. You're gonna make a U cut, just like that around the gill plate. I like to turn that flounder, and this is what we call a T cut. And just essentially push the knife down until you feel that, uh, that rib cage right there. Just make yourself a nice cut. So once you're done with this and you're looking at it, it's gonna look just like a T. And then you're gonna go ahead and take the tip of that knife Start at the very top here, right at this, uh, this angle. And just with a slight bend in that knife, you're gonna work your way down the rib cage right there on the inside. Check that out. And you're not, you're gonna be really careful not to go through on this other side. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this. Insert the knife and just kind of little by little work our way holding that knife against this inner bone here, bone cage, all while making sure not to go all the way through, just like so. I'll show you guys from here. All right. So now we're ready to take this flounder. We're gonna flip it over to the other side and make the exact same cut. Just like so. Right, and do the exact same thing on this side. Work down that inner bone there. You could actually see the tip of that knife working down, but not pushing through this other side. Very important that you keep that sealed off. That way when you stick this thing in the oven and you got it filled with stuffing, that stuffing will stay nice and compact in there. All right, so once we have all four sides filleted just like that, really close to the edge of the fish but not going through, you are ready to get that bone cage out of there. So what I like to do is I'll grab the top side, the bottom side, and just kind of hold it just like this. And this is a very weak point right here up on these smaller bones here gives us a perfect opportunity. We're gonna go ahead right through the middle of the fish, just like this, it'll be nice and easy. Push through, and then we're gonna take this knife and push and slide down to the tip of this tail. And it's basically gonna ride that ridge and be a really clean cut, so watch this. Just like that, we're gonna turn the knife. You can hold the flounder just like that, and now I'm gonna push down just like that. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Hold those two fillets, stick the knife halfway in, push down, just like that. Flip the flounder over and do the same thing towards the tail, just like that. Now all that's left to do is basically break that flounder and check that out. You got the, the inner bone cage taken care of. And this flounder is 100% boneless and ready to stick in that oven. Just like that, you've got nothing but pure solid meat on the inside, ready to stuff to perfection. Thanks for watching guys. Hope these uh, easy tips and tricks helps on your next flounder fishing trip. It's a monster baby.